Hello guys, my name is Miguel and today I want to talk to you about decoders and well to start I would like to define what is a decoder. Well a decoder is a logic device that generates all the mean terms of the in input variables. Exactly one of the output lines will be one for each combination of the values of the input. I know that this definition may sound a little bit weird uh, for beginners, but um, we're going to clear up this in a moment. So to be able to output all the mean term combinations for uh, the inputs, the decoder must have for n inputs to, to the n output. So usually when we say a decoder is uh, two, like a 2 by 4, we mean that the decoder has two inputs and four outputs. Okay, so let's take an example. Um, let's take this decoder, this uh, representation of a decoder, and build a two by four decoder, which is a decoder with two inputs and four outputs. So uh, let's name our inputs as A and B. And uh, since we have two inputs, well, again, we have four outputs, which are going to be uh, for the mean terms, M0, M1, M2, and M3. And let's also change here to 2 by 4. Okay, let's build a through table for this. And, well, now you can see what I, what I meant about that first definition. So... Uh, for each uh, combination of the values of the input, we're going to have only one line outputting 1. So for the combinations here, we have 0, 0, we're going to output M0 for 0, 1, M1 for 1, 0, M2 for 1, 1, M3. Okay, so now let's see uh, how this process works uh, inside of a decoder. Okay, uh, using this specific one, a 2x4 as an example, um, we are going to have four end gates. So each end gate is going to output um, a specific combination f uh, of our inputs. So, uh, to reach this specific behavior for our circuit, we are going to put bubbles before the inputs of our gates. Um, these bubbles represent inverters. Uh, so, uh, they will work with our gates in a way uh, that for a specific input combination, only one gate will output one, while the other gates are going to output a logic zero. Okay, uh, so since we are uh, aware of the behavior, let's check what we just st stated using our previous through table. Okay, so let's begin with the first value, 0, 0, for a and b equal to 0. Uh, so we're going to have what? The b is going to be inputted uh, on in, in the the first gate the end gate and this bubble is going to invert B so we're gonna end up with a 1 for a we have the same behavior a is going to be inputted into the first gate but before this we're going to invert because of the bubble so what we have 1 ended with 1 we have 1 so when we try to use this same uh, combination for the other gates, we're going to notice that all the other gates are going to output a zero. So let's see the second one. B is going to be inverted, inverted. So it out, it's going to be one in the gate, and for A, we're going to have zero directly into the gate so one ended with zero is going to be zero so notice that if we use the same way to think for the other gates we're going to end it up with 
all the other gates outputting zero and only the first one outputting one for this specific combination a equal to zero and b equal to zero but if you try the other ones you're going to see that for each one only one specific gate is going to output one while the other ones are going to output a logic zero Okay, uh, another important thing that we need to mention about a decoder is that uh, some of them, they have enabler lines. Uh, so as the name suggests, the enabler line is going to enable, enable or not your inputs to be, well, um, processed by the circuit. So when we draw an enable line, we connect uh, directly into all the gates. So for E equal to zero, um, all the end gates are going to have a zero and then our circuit is going to, well, be uh, inactive. So we are not going to have um, a usable decoder. However, when we have E equal to one, our circuit it, uh, is going to be able to process the other uh, the inputs uh, received. Um, this enabler line is going to be really useful for our next video which uh, is going to be how to build a bigger decoder uh, using a smaller decoder like for example build um, a 4x16 using a 3x8 decoder. So guys uh, I think for this video uh, that's it I hope you guys enjoyed and well I see you in the next video bye bye